After Greece and Crete, the New Zealand division was sent to the western desert of North Africa. The Kiwis initially came up against the Italians, but as they collapsed and would eventually surrender, Hitler ordered troops into the area. The force was named the Africa Corps, and came under the leadership of the outstanding German commander, General Erwin Rommel, who would later become legendary in North Africa and earn the name the Desert Fox. The desert conditions of both the Kiwis and Germans were often unbearable, and the New Zealanders soon referred to the area as a miserable place to fight, due to the flies, lack of water, poor rations, heat in the day and freezing temperatures at night. The conditions meant there had to be a change to the troops' uniforms. For the New Zealanders, they wore khaki drill shorts, shirts and trousers, usually referred to as KDs. These can be seen on the mannequins in the desert diorama. For the Germans, they also wore uniforms of a lighter material. The German High Command had called upon Hamburg's Tropical Institute to design a uniform and related equipment that suited Libya's harsh climate. However, the resulting trim olive green cotton uniform with helmet and high boots would later be replaced by shorts, lightweight trousers, the familiar forage cap and ankle boots. The lightweight forage cap, seen on display, became an official Africa Corps trademark and if it was bleached almost white by the merciless sun, then it was a mark of a veteran desert fighter. The uniform on display, a model 1940 tropical tunic, is an example of the early uniforms that came out of Hamburg. Also on display is the green and silver Africa Corps cuff title, which was presented to soldiers who from mid-1941 had served for more than two months in the African campaign. In the early stages of the campaign, General Rommel and his troops secured important victories, and his abilities drew high praise from both the German and Allied commands. His close contact with the soldiers of the Africa Corps made them feel somehow immortal, and they proved to be an excellent and committed foe. The campaign would later turn against the Germans, and Rommel, disillusioned at Hitler's insane planning, would later plot against them. This would be unsuccessful, and the brilliant and noble Erwin Rommel would be forced to take his own life.